If they see light of day, the newly gazetted regulations may have far-reaching implications on the management of the education sector in the country. Key among them is the immense powers that they accord the Education Cabinet Secretary to hire and discipline school principals if the Education Cabinet Secretary feels that there is need to do so. Regulations that the Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers, Kupet, says that it will oppose for as long as it takes. We feel the Cabinet Secretary is running uh, the ministry as a, a personal kiosk. And we want to say that this is not going to be tenable and as Kupet we are not going to accept it. Kupet officials speaking at union headquarters instead heaped collective blame on the Professor Jacob Kaimeni led ministry for coming up with the proposals without seeking the input of all education stakeholders. When the controversy moved further, we wrote to CIC and CIC replied. It said that this matter needs to be looked into further before the gazettement can be done. And indeed to date, you could call the CIC, they'll tell you that this matter had not been resolved, yet the minister has gone ahead to gazette that document. According to Kupet, it would have been prudent to present the regulations to parliament for debate and approval before gazetting them. The regulations which the cabinet secretary for education has gazetted I believe it's illegal because it has not been approved by parliament. And as expected, the union is threatening to call on its members to down their tools when schools reopen for the second term early next month, should their pleas fall on deaf ears. We have given him basically seven days to revoke this gasset notice. If this one does not take place, then schools, schools, let me say, institutions where our members are will not open in, in, in second term. The new regulations are informed by the Education Ministry's concerns that monies allocated to public primary and secondary schools have not been in the past prudently accounted for by school principals and headmasters. Kupet, however, termed the regulations a ploy by the government to illegally create two centers of power when it came to employment of teachers. We did not understand how one, employ, one employee would be reporting to, more, to more, more than one employer in terms of delegation of responsibility. That is an issue which uh, we, we, we have said he, he bluntly refused to do this. Efforts to reach the Education Ministry officials proved futile for no official was willing to comment on the matter.